Everything old is new again. The Lord Baltimore, the first hotel built after the Great Baltimore Fire, first opened its doors in 1928. Baltimore was one of the two, three greatest cities in America, and it was built to be a great city. Now a family of art collectors is putting the 23-story hotel back in the cosmopolitan spotlight. We're really committed to bringing back historical properties and to have it not destroyed by history. It took hard work and a team of experienced restoration specialists to be able to revitalize this Charm City landmark. We never closed the hotel during the renovation. Uh, we wanted to maintain the continuity. We were able to really transition the hotel step by step. This meant working with former Ralph Lauren designer Scott Sanders, who understood the vision. He's been doing hotels with us for all this time. Extremely experienced and understands how we can collaborate to achieve, um, to accentuate the historic and, and layer it with functionality, durability, and, and spirit and aesthetic that we've come to understand our guests really want. Beyond the 2,500 original works of art and the focus on design, restoring the hotel's good name was also a top priority. I would come take the train station, take the train from New York, and I'd ask the cab driver to take me to Lord Baltimore, and they didn't know what it was. The, the, the name was lost. We feel there's a lot in a name. Uh, we brought the name back. I, I think there are many Radisons in the world, but there's really only one Lord Baltimore. And as you wander through this French Renaissance-style hotel, the old walls slowly reveal hidden intricacies and symbols embedded in its architectural design. There were actually six Lords Baltimore. We have all of their portraits in the lobby, and then everything was designed in the public space to feature six of everything. Six Lords, six balconies, six crests, six arches. An aging building, even with its historical grandeur, still must deliver modern day efficiency. 440 rooms can mean that you have on one morning, let's say Sunday morning when they're departing, a thousand people or more in the lobby. It really is a balancing act, all told maybe 200, full-time and part-time, that make this machine run every day. And it really is a stage. We have the perfect set and people come to see the performance every day. And that's what people pay for it. With more than 20,000 square feet of meeting space, a restaurant, bar, and bakery, the hotel is a mini city of its own. There's a lot of history in the bones of this hotel. We hope that people will embrace this hotel as a place to escape from in their own town. Celebrate your anniversary, celebrate your birthday. Here, take a weekend, experience your city the way a tourist would experience the city and come to fall in love with it.